Hello, and welcome to an overview of quality management within Autodesk PLM 360. My name is Brian Shannon, and in this video series, we'll examine out-of-the-cloud standard integrated processes included in PLM 360. Based upon industry best practices, these apps are fully configurable and include non-conformance reports, also known as NCRs, corrective and preventative actions, also known as CAPAs, and return merchandise authorization, also known as RMAs. So let's first look at the non-conformance workspace and see how it can be used as a record to kick off spawning of other processes like corrective actions, ECOs, ECRs inside of PLM 360. Non-conformances or NCRs inside of PLM 360 can be found off of the main menu in the quality category under non-conformances. Now to understand the goal of what a non-conformance report is about, let's create a new one from scratch. As a non-conformance is often one of the initial steps or records in a resolution process, let's start at the top by filling in the data for what type of inspection this is. We'll choose out of the box, internal. If we have a supplier in mind, we can call them out here. If we know the item itself, we can go and search for it here. If we happen to know the affected quantity, we can type that in here. Next, we focus on the business impact. So we'll say that this is a production delay with an efficiency of perhaps 80 man hours. Moving down under disposition, we can decide, well, what will we do with these? Should we uh, repair these, reject? In this case, I'll choose reject. Then down on the bottom, we choose our team of approvers for both the review and disposition cycle. 